Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Brotato. We are jumping in again. I think last time we played as Lucky, so this time we're going as Mutant. Extra shop prices, but massive XP gains. And we can start with quite a lot of different things here. Um, I think I want to go with the Shredder. I feel like the Shredder is one of those weapons that might be a little off, but could be really good. I've also switched over to manual, uh, sorry, to, to auto aim. Just for a few episodes here, I'm going to see how it feels. It might end up being that we switch back, I don't know. I personally prefer the feel of manual, um, but I think we might be able to get a little further and be a little less stressed in the later waves if we play with what the default thing is. So I think we'll go with health straight off the bat. I always forget you can reroll these as well. I never reroll them. Go with crit chance here. Um, let's go with stick. And why not hand as well? Just get a bunch of uh, stuff in there. I kind of want to do a stick build. Because stick is one of those things that gets increased damage the more of them you have. And I think you have to really, like, play into it. But I think it could be a lot of fun. But yeah, I am so far just enjoying the hell out of this game. Hopefully this time we can get past wave. I think it's 13 is our max. We'll see. Uh, I've, I've not really gotten good at this game yet. So that's going to be a little bit of a learning curve for us. Lifesteal over harvesting. We do already have a little bit of harvesting, so I'll take that. Also, melee damage, we'll take that too. And I think I'm going to re-roll and try and get something better. There you go, there's more harvesting, we'll take that. Plus 20 range, I think I'm going to lock that in. 10% chance to instantly attract materials, I'll take that. Let's go. Good stuff. Ooh, I like the wings that we've just been given. They look really good. But yeah, I need to, I need to like, re-roll my level up rewards a little more often. If I don't get anything of, like, blue or higher quality, I should probably just re-roll. Seems like the better way to do things, to be honest. Try and get as many materials as I can here. I locked myself into a corner a little bit here. The hand's really good for knocking enemies really far away. We'll say that. I'm not really worried about the damage I'm taking all, uh, all too much right now. Because we'll get the health back at the end of the round. So this one, uh, let's go with plus 30 range. Let's go with 5% crit chance. Let's go with plus 20 range. We've already got a lot of range now. Uh, the max range of your weapons is increased by 50. Half as effective on melee weapons. It does work on melee weapons, though. I didn't actually know that for sure. We'll lock that in and we'll carry on. Yeah, I wasn't sure if range worked for melee weapons, but it's good to know that it does. It's only half as effective, but still, grabbing a bunch of range is going to be very helpful. Especially when we're grabbing, like, 50. Okay, so we'll try and take out the shooty boys as quickly as we can here. But they're kind of spawning with... But yeah, it, it, it's very weird not having manual aim on, I've got to say. It's very, very weird. It, it is what, like one of the things that's really nice is you can play almost entirely without your mouse. Obviously, you have to select your upgrades, but it's pretty good. And there's, there's also an option to do mouse only, so you can play with only a mouse, which is, I always appreciate things like that. Take a shop discount. Uh, I'm going to take more range here. More melee damage is going to be good. 20% materials at the start of a wave is going to be good. We'll take another hand, and I'm going to lock both of these in. I, I still, I'm not, I'm still not 100% sure how useful the turrets are if they if you don't spec into them. But I, I think they're decent enough. I think they can, they can take care of some of the weaker enemies and at least soften them up a little bit for you. Which is good. I'm quite liking our explosive, um, thingy that we started with here. Is it called the Shredder? I can't, I can't remember what it's called now. But yeah, the hand is doing a very good job at pushing enemies away. I think... Regards to the hand having a low damage, a hand build, if you could level them up a little bit, might work quite well. Quickly grab that. I did get double hit there. Okay, no worries. An extra 5% crit sounds good. Ooh, plus 45 range. Hell yes. We'll finally buy this and this. And I'll lock in the laser gun and buy that next time. I think this, the stick we probably need to get rid of, considering we haven't got any other sticks yet. It's not really doing that much damage. You really ought to have at least three of them, I think, for them to be, like, useful. Or viable, should I say. They are useful, but not a super viable strategy right now. But, um, yeah, I'm loving this knockback. Ooh, we did get hit the six there. Oh, no, we lost our run. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Um, Let's retry with this guy. Same weapon again, I think. The weapon's not a problem. It's 50-50 chance to explode on hit. It's not going to happen all the time. I'd like to get it beefed up a little bit. The tree right off the bat, that's really nice. 
This is one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of them. Um, in fact, I'm going to switch back. I really like having manual aim because I want to aim for that tree and I can't. It's too nice to not have. Uh, let's reroll. Go with harvesting. Go with damage. The extra range damage seems good. Ooh, I'd like to take a wrench. Spear could also be good, but yeah, a wrench is going to allow us to get more turrets, which I like. I don't know if the upgraded wrench allow for even more turrets. I'm not exactly sure how multiple uh, upgrades of the wrench works. But I'd like to find out. I'm definitely not great at this game yet. I definitely haven't really found out how to play it. I was watching Alexa's first video on the um, the update, and I saw that he um, beat it on his first run. <laughs> so, definitely not quite as good as that. Uh, more harvesting. More damage. We'll take a wrench. I'm going to lock in both of these. Yeah, the wrench... I don't think the wrench is, is, like, too useful in itself. It does a good amount of damage on hit, but I don't think we're really taking it for the actual ability of the wrench. We're taking it for the ability of creating these turrets. And I I, I really just want to do, like, a, 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 a massive army of turrets at some point. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Get a bit of health there. We definitely need to upgrade our health a little bit here as well. We're lacking a little bit on that front. It's 88, though. There's some engineering. We'll take some engineering. There's some crit chance. I'll reroll. I'll take range. Why not? Um, I'll grab that and that. And I think we can leave those two. The shuriken is one that I think could be really good. I don't really know how the shuriken... The sh I think it pierces. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but I think that the shuriken could be really good. Yeah, I like manual aim for being able to aim specifically at the enemy that's bothering me or being able to aim specifically at a tree. It's really nice for that. It does have advantages to it. It also feels just a little more engaging too. It feels like I'm doing more. Although, like I said, it does make the game a little harder. But I can't, I can't get used to uh, having it on automatic. 5% discount. Plus 3 range damage is really good. Plus six max HP is great. Um, we'll take that, and I think we'll re-roll. We'll lock that in. We'll take that, and we'll lock that in as well. I like the idea of that. I like our scythe head here. So let's try and figure out how much is our turret doing right now. Our turret's doing 10 now. Okay, we've, we've doubled the damage of our turret so far. So I think that's going pretty well. I think we can keep up with engineering and it, it'll be pretty useful. Definitely need a bit more pickup radius. Not going too bad though. I managed to get most of the materials here. I kind of like that once you get into their radius, they'll chase you. They'll, like, follow you. Okay, lots of good stuff here. Uh, I think we go with range damage. I think then we go with regular damage. Then we take range damage and attack speed. And we lock that in again. We keep going. Damage-wise, I think we're looking pretty good. Does the turret also count for range damage? It doesn't. Okay. I thought only engineering would be the thing that increased it, but I had to find out. had to check. I suppose what I could do is once I get to the later waves, I could switch to uh, auto aim, but that seems a little tricky. There's a tree that I want to grab. We need a little bit more HP regen now, I think. We're sitting pretty on damage, I think, now. We definitely need better weaponry, but our actual damage is pretty good. Over. Beautiful. There's a lot of HP. I'll definitely take that. Level 2 pistol is really good here. I will take that. I'll take the plus 5 HP. Um, I don't think we save either of those two. 
That pistol should definitely help, especially with the amount of range damage we have coming out. I'd like to get a few more upgrades on that, though. I was going to say sign tr try and stay around our turret, but honestly, I think while we only have a single turret, it's not that valuable. Like, 10, 10 damage is good for the enemies that spawn near it and, like, the passers-by. But otherwise, I don't think it's that big of a deal. We did get an achievement for Gatherer 4 there. Beautiful. Trying to gather as many materials as I can here. That's kind of the balance of this game, isn't it? Really trying to get as many materials as you can versus not running directly into a horde of enemies. It's kind of a tricky balance, but we got a lot there. Um, range damage will take. Melee damage isn't too big of a deal. I think I'm going to take armor here. And HP re... Oh, no, more range damage. More range damage. Ooh, plus 15 HP. Yes, I'm going to take that. And we'll lock in the laser gun here. The enemy's going to be a little speedier, but that seems really good. Can we check our items? Yeah, we can. Yeah, because now our HP is almost at 50. Like, if we can get good regen going, this is going to be really valuable for us. And as you can see, our damage is very, very good. And our regen isn't terrible right now. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Yeah, I like the fact that I can aim at the ones that are problematic, like, in my way as well with the manual aim. It's not just going to shoot the ones that are closest to me. It's going to shoot the ones that I actually need to get past. Trying to stay close and in the face of stuff that I can. Beautiful. I'm honestly going to take more max HP here. Um, definitely take that. I think... I think I'm good to... Um, I, I want to take the hand. Let's get rid of the shuriken for now. Take the hand. And then we'll take this. Just because I think the hand's going to be really good for knocking back enemies that are getting a bit too close. It also comes with some harvesting on it as well, which is really nice. But yeah, being able to push... Back a few annoying too close enemies periodically is going to be good. Oh god, that's a lot of fruit. Where did all that fruit come from? I mean, I like it, but I'm a bit confused. We are on wave 9 here. Not exactly an easy wave. I don't want to pick up all the fruit, but I also don't want to leave all the uh, materials there. I don't like being at this left side of the screen here because the bottom left corner of my monitor is slightly not visible to me because of my um, my microphone arm. So I don't like being in the bottom left just because I can't quite see what's happening. Beautiful. Attack speed is definitely good. Um, and we'll recycle that. Plus three armor seems very, very good. Plus 12 damage percent is really good. We got a hammer here. We got another medical gun. More trees is always good. I think I'm going to do some re-rolling here and try and get something good though. Um, more max HP will take. Reroll again. Trees die in one hit. Definitely lock that in. Also lock the wrench in. And honestly, I'm going to lock all of those in. Um, yeah, let's go. Hopefully get a lot of those next wave. I think damage-wise, we're sitting we're sitting in a pretty good spot still. Obviously, our turrets kind of become a little obsolete now. But, like I said, it's here to weaken things up. And we've gotten a lot and a lot of HP now, so this is probably the most I've ever had. I don't know if there's an achievement for reaching 100. I bet there is. But yeah, even in situations like that there where I just took an absolute beating, it doesn't really matter all that much. And I'm going to try and get the fruits whenever I can as well. One problem that I seem to have, like, when it gets to, like, waves like this, I'm taking a lot of damage now, is I, I, get, I get spawned on a lot. A lot of enemies tend to spawn directly on top of me. 
That, that was that was a tricky wave, that was. Um, I'm going to go for more max HP. More damage. Tree stein, one hit. I'm going to try and get some um, more healing of some kind. HP regen is good. We'll take some burning as well, why not? I'll go for one more reroll in case we can get something. HP regen. Yeah, we need as much HP regen as we can. 4% every 5 seconds isn't great, but it'll do. So we're on to these enemies now. These ones are always tricky, but we have that knockback now with the hand. So I don't think these are going to be anywhere near as bad as we found them in previous times. I think the problem we've always had with them is they're very hard to um, deal with because they get faster as they get closer to you. Or as they get lower HP. I'm not exactly sure what it is. But now we have a way to actually push them back. I still don't really know where I want to be standing. I don't know if I want to be in the middle of the screen or not. We're doing good damage, though. Things are dying reasonably fast. Running over food as I get it. Although food only heals me for two pair right now, so that's not very useful. Um, More max HP. This is some good stuff here. Slingshot seems like it could be really good. I'm going to recycle that and take the slingshot. And I'm also going to take the metal there as well. A medical gun I'll lock in because I can upgrade next next time round. Yeah, the sling seems really good just because it's got the bounce on it. Also, it does seem to have upgraded my turret to just a different version with the, with the higher level wrench. It hasn't spawned any more turrets, but it has spawned different ones. Ooh, I do not like the amount of damage I just took there. That was a lot to take very early on. I need to make sure to stop prioritizing fruit. It's virtually worthless at this point. Like... Two health is nice, but it's not going to save us unless there's a lot of it. The trees we still do need to prioritize, though. I really need to be shooting behind me whenever possible, rather than in front. I think this is going to be a wave that we find rather tricky. Okay, we didn't get a lot of money there, but we did well. That's pretty good. Um, I think speed is a must right now. HP regen is very big. Um, I think we scrap... So I think we best of all take the medical gun. And then I think we scrap the shredder, maybe? For another one of those. Reroll. Incendiary turret is pretty good. One engineering's kind of nice. Just because I, I like the, the the bouncy effect. Okay. This is our highest wave, uh, 13. We have some new enemies here. I'm guessing these are the new basic enemies that we're going to be finding. They're definitely a bit tankier. I guess they do a bit more damage as well. I'm liking the extra movement speed we've gotten, though. It's not a lot, but it's making a difference. The extra HP regen is also very, very nice. Ooh, 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 big guy, big guy. That's a new big guy. Look at that dodging. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, the HP regen's huge. I'm just kind of walking through the big guys whenever I can. Beautiful. Not a lot of money there again, but pretty good. Range damage go up. Um, I'll take that. I'll take that as well. And one thing I love about this game is how many things have trade-offs. They've got a really good balance of things having like positives and negatives. Not a lot of games do that, and I think it's a really valuable thing to have. 
the sort of idea of risk reward like you, you take one thing as an advantage take something else as a negative i really like that okay so we've got a lot of shots in the air now but i'm hoping that means there's going to be less actual chasing enemies because i think they're more of the problem these shots do do nine damage a hit though which is quite hefty Taking a good amount of damage at the minute, but I'm managing it just about okay, I think. There is so many shots on screen right now. What the hell? There's no way I'm living through this, right? Yeah, no way. That was really tricky. Okay, let's try a different character this time. Um, that was, yeah, that was insane. Okay, plus two melee damage for every one range damage you have. Plus one range damage for every two melee damage you have. You can only equip three melee and you can only equip three range. Okay, so this guy, we want a bit of each. Um, I think I'm going to take this spear off the bat. The spear is it's slow, but it's got a lot of range to it and a good amount of damage. We've got to line enemies up. Tree. Good. Um, take a look. Take a slingshot. Take a fist. So we got. Do, what does slingshot count as? I'm guessing it counts as ranged. Yeah, the slingshot is real good, Aelion. I probably should have started with it, to be honest. They're really strong. But yeah, it seems like in the late game, you just have to have a ton of HP. Either that or, like, a lot of speed. I don't think I'm going to be dodging much without that. Um, Range damage. New spear. I'm going to leave it there. I don't need the medical gun yet. Having two spears seems good. I like that quite a lot. Beautiful. Yeah, this is actually really, really, really good. Damage-wise, we're doing a lot. Lots of materials this round as well. 88. Good, good. Maybe I should take more armor. Trees die in one hit. I'll always take that. take that as well. That character looks great. <laughs> good, good. We always want to get our times twos, as many of them as we can. Right, all about money this time. Let's focus on the money. Focus on the money. Oh, hello, hello. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes, we got the box just before it ended. Damage for range, I'll take it, why not? Go with life steal, maybe. Um, and then range damage. Landmines plus explosive damage seems like a good combo, and we'll take that as well. Okay, these are still doing 17. Oh no, 29, wow. They've upgraded quite a bit. Quite like that. I think my slingshot's the one that's doing 17. This thing's doing 29. That's beautiful. That's so much more damage than it started on. Yeah, I think I need to take prioritize speed a little more. It's, it's going to be difficult just sort of finding out what we need to prioritize and when. I think once we get that down, once we understand what we need and when, we're going to have a little bit more of a strategy, even if we're doing vastly different builds each run. I think we have a slightly better idea. Um, range damage. XP gain for range, I'll pretty much always take. I think I'll re-roll the rest of these. We got Wonderbot, I'm definitely going to take that. And honestly, that seems amazing as well. Lock both of those in. 
They're going to be kind of hard to afford, but we'll try it. Good, good, get all of our times twos going. I really like this idea of the times two thing. That's a really good way of, like, dealing with ex your excess uh, materials. Because most games that either say, oh, you don't get them, or you just get a portion back. But making it so that the next few materials you get in the next wave are times two, it gives them a lot of value. Good. Okay, we're not doing amazing on money for buying both things, but we're doing okay. I was hoping to get to like 300. I don't think I'm going to quite get there, am I? Not quite. Um... Our HP regen is down a little bit right now, but we'll take some. I'm going to take more armor again. I'm going to take this guy first. Oh, I can get both. Nice. My little wonder bot. Alexa does have an item as well, by the way. I was uh, making thumbnails and I saw it in the, um, in the files, which is pretty cool. It's really cool to see that you got one. Beautiful. I really like the music in this game as well. The music's really nice. Yeah, this guy just slowing everything for us. Really nice. It seems to do it very often as well, and like to quite a few of the enemies. It's not just like one. Honestly, the spears are massively outperforming everything else, I think. Beautiful. Oh, yes, another piece of loot. Love it. Uh, range damage, attack speed, I'm going to take that. Knockback is great here. Um, speed, as we said before, pretty good. One free reroll in the shop seems super useful. And off of the back of that, let's reroll. More knockback is really good. More attack speed, definitely. I'll, eh, no, I want to keep my armor. I want to keep my armor. Right now, I take 23% less damage. I think armor is a lot more valuable than I've been than I've been giving it credit for. I think getting five or six armor could make a, a world of difference. Trying to hit with both these spears is sometimes a little bit finicky. Yeah, I think we're reaching the stage now where we need more max HP. Trying to get all these materials, but they're kind of locked behind a wall of enemies right now. We're very low HP here. Let's move up to the other side of the room. Our spears are getting it to the point where they're a little bit slow, to be honest. Um, max HP there. There's another spear. Oh, we can. I forgot we can't have any more than... So many melee, so go for a reroll here. There's another spear. We'll lock that in. We're getting all the melee weapons, but we don't have any ranged weapons, really. Hmm. Okay, cool. Give me all the spears. We, we really need more actual lab uh, guns. We don't have any right now. We just have a slingshot. I've not been seeing them, though. That's the problem. We now have a lot of spears and upgraded spears at that, so that's good. But like I said, they're a little bit slow for some of the bigger enemies, so... Might not be all that useful. I just took one damage there. That's, like, never happened before. The armor's way more valuable than I was giving her credit for. By the way, uh, just in case you guys are leaving comments that are helpful, I appreciate them and please leave more. But do uh, understand that right now... I am backlogging, like, multiple recordings because I'm going on holiday in a few days. I'll be on holiday while you're watching this, most likely. So I'm unable to, like, actively, uh, like, see the comments before recording. So I apologize. But I'll implement them whenever I can. Okay, we got so much money that wave. That was really good. No, <laughs> I will not be taking that. More armor, thank you. More max HP, thank you. XP gain and melee damage seems really good. We finally got some guns here, we'll take both. 
We'll go for a reroll there. We'll take that. Buy that to upgrade. We'll lock that in. Okay, max HP is getting to a good spot. Pop, good point now. Got our armor to a good point. In fact, where's our armor at now? 33%. So armor definitely does have diminishing returns, which means that it's always a good idea to take one or two armor because you're going to get a lot of value out of those first one or two. But I think getting up to like six at least is always going to be a, a, like something we want to do. The, uh, the big dudes die really, 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 really fast with the spears, but it's kind of hard to actually hit them with all the spears at once. When we do hit them all at once, they die fast. The general seems really good. I like him a lot. I took a bit of a risk there. It kind of paid off. I wanted all the materials. Trying to get as many as I can. Um, range damage. Projectiles pierce through one additional target. Mm, interesting. Okay, I think this is a time where we recycle that and take this. Um, we also recycle that and take this. And then I think we go with this and we still lock this in. I just think the cacti club... Because it, it does melee and projectile, it could be really good. I realize that it's not going to get many hits in, but when enemies get close, it's going to be pretty darn useful. Okay, just kill the big guys. We're at least making it past wave 10 pretty reliably now, which is nice. I think we've gotten over that hump for the most part. I like it out of the way as well, like, whenever they introduce a new enemy on a wave, that wave's normally fairly easy. It's not, like, super easy, but, like, because it's introducing a new enemy, it kind of gives you a chance to get used to it a little bit. Quite well balanced. I realize I'm taking some dumb damage here, but it's all in the mid... All in the name of getting as much money as we possibly can out of this wave. Which we did. We got a ton. Uh, recycle that. Yes. Melee damage seems like a very good idea. Uh, I think at this point we probably want HP regen. We do have a flamethrower here. Uh, let's recycle that and grab a flamethrower. Grab that. Grab that. Reroll. Hmm. I'll take that. Our damage is minus 12% now, um, which is, like, not great. But I think for what we've traded for it, it's fine. I think we've gotten plenty of value. I don't know how good the flamethrower is, actually. I've never had the flamethrower before, but I imagine it's pretty decent, especially at level 2. I think we're in a position where we can kind of stay in the fray of it a lot easier now. We did get ourselves a medical turret as well, which they're not super good when they're uh, not upgraded, but they're decent enough to keep us afloat. Top us off, so to say. I think 12 is a pretty hard wave, if I remember correctly. Gotta remember, we don't actually have that much maximum HP yet. We got an okay amount, but like not a lot. Try and get all the materials. Doing a mad dash through the middle right at the end of the stage, as long as you know you have the health for it, is seemingly always worth it. Recycle that. Uh, four percent HP regen will take that. Circular saw. Um. That seems like it could be good, but I think I'm pretty happy with my weaponry right now. Extra range is good. Pickup radius is always good. I think I'll save that. Okay, we're on to the new enemies again here. We're killing them significantly faster than last time, though. That's good. I'm really liking the Generalist. I think he's a very, very good character. 
Obviously, the, the weapon limitation is kind of a bit weird, but honestly, with this run, we've not really dealt with it as a limitation as such. It's just been kind of part of the run, which I really like. I don't know where my medical turret is uh, down here. I should ideally stay near that at all times, but it's not always that easy. I'm trying to take out the big guy. There you go. He's up with multiple big guys now. I like the little noise you make when you eat the, uh, the fruits. I don't actually know how much damage these big guys are doing. It seems to be a good amount. But four seconds left here. Not a particularly good wave, but it went okay. Attack speed, crit chance, and range for HP regen. We have a good amount of HP regen now. Let's take that. We'll take more max HP as well here. Life steal and HP regen. We'll take that. We'll take the damage back so we can try and get our damage back to a decent point. Reroll. We'll take the XP and melee damage. Oh, actually, we can't save that yet. We'll take that. Chance to get healing on picking up material, even at only 8%, is really good. Okay, so this wave was one of the hard ones. We need to make sure we kill the things that shoot as quickly as we can. Because they really filled up the screen last time. We need to be prioritizing them whenever we can see them. But yeah, they got quite wild. I know it's not like it's not super easy to prioritize specific types of enemies in this game, but whenever we can, we should. This is when it starts getting wild. There's really not much you can do to purposely dodge the shots coming in. It's just got to be luck of the draw if you dodge them or you don't. I went into the center of the screen there. I really regretted it, but it worked out. I got a lot of money. Okay. We do have another slingshot, so we can upgrade that. More XP. Um, and we will lock that in. Now, now we've got to survive a whole minute. It's the waves that, that are, like, last the longest at the hard ones. I know they last longer each wave, but when they last long, that's... that's Really makes them quite difficult. There's just so much time for things to start stacking up. Crit. Nice one. We essentially need enough stats to offset the amount of hits we're going to take from all of these shots. We're going to take a lot. We got a lot of lifesteal as well, I think, which is helping. Lifesteal is something I haven't really played around with too much yet, and it's doing a decent job. We have three seconds left. My god, that was tricky. We didn't get a lot of money that time around, but it's good. 3% dodge while standing still. Recycle, thank you. Oh, I've never seen a quality 4 before. I guess I'll take it. SMG level 3. Um... What's our ranged weapons again? The medical gun has a lot of lifesteal on it, so I don't really want to take... I don't really want to get rid of that. I'll lock that and uh, I'll reroll. Ooh. Scissors have lifesteal as well. Cacti Club level up, at least. I think we lock all of these in, to be honest. Nah, maybe not the, maybe not the scissors. I'll definitely lock in them too, though. Rocket launcher over the flamethrower, I think. I'm not sure what the red around those enemies means. We get 240 worth of two times on this stage. Oh, hello. That's another new enemy. I'm seeing a lot of new enemies now. This is the highest wave yet, so it makes sense. We're doing pretty well, though. Keeping it together. It's 
difficult as it seems. Oh god. Oh lord. I said that and immediately took a flip load of damage. Maybe these red ones do extra damage. Maybe that's the deal. Like champions or something. That was, that was, that was a lot. <laughs> um, extra speed seems good. Okay, rocket launcher for the flamethrower, I think. Another free reroll in shops. Grab that. Twenty percent damage one armor. Minus two damage. Uh, minus two damage when you take damage. Ooh, that seems really good. Lock that in. Right. Go. I think I locked into the prism as well. I'm not sure. Okay, so these guys are back now. I was wondering where they've gone. I think the red ones definitely do extra damage, and that's the deal with them. I think they're just like champions. I think this is. This is likely the wave where we die. I don't think we got much between the last round and this one that's going to save us. Oh, I, th I think the red ones have extra health as well, you know. I think they have extra health and deal extra damage. The rocket launcher is definitely helping. I said we didn't get much between the last rounds, but honestly, the rocket launcher might be enough. It just does a lot of damage in a very wide radius. We have a lot of enemies to deal with. Okay, more life steal seems great. We can get ourselves a max level spear, and we'll take that as well. I've never had a max level weapon before, so... I didn't even know there was a, a, a rank higher than purple until I saw that item. The only reason I knew to upgrade past it. Having the fast enemies as red guys is, is very scary. Okay, we are definitely dead this wave. Look at my HP. And the thing is as well, I'm losing damage when I get hit here. Sixteen seconds. Not looking great for sixteen seconds left. Nah, there you go, everyone lost. Anyways, we'll leave it there. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. It was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys in the next one.